Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. And today we are going to take a look at the installation of EROM S10 Plus port, which is a One UI 4.1 port, page 112, for our Galaxy S7, the S7 Edge, the Note 7, and the Note FE. So, without wasting any more time, let's quickly go through it. So guys, the first step towards installation is powering off the device and make sure you have the AJT Blurby Recovery installed. If you have not installed it, I have all the links and all the description with all the steps to install everything. So you need to check that out. And if you want to install AJT Blurby, you have the uh, link of all the uh, device specific like for the S7, S7 Edge. So just go through that device specific link and install the T Blurby easily. Now the first step is to boot into TLRP after installing it. So press the volume up, the home and the power key at the same time until the Galaxy S7 boot logo shows up. Now guys, this is the TLRP screen and you have to install, uh, sorry, download three files. I have stored it in my SD card. You can use SD card or OTG to install. As you can see, these are the three files, the ILM ROM version 7 S10 plus port, the zip. Then you have the universal cleaner, 8890 and universal repartitioner version 3 of 8890 you need to download all three files and all of these files are linked in the description so download them first now the first step is to go to install without wiping anything you have to flash the repartitioner just flash it and now after some uh for some a few seconds the screen will go back as you can see uh, you have 20 seconds to hard reboot your phone if you want to, you know, back up some of your data. But yeah, once it's gone, it's gone. Then you can hard reboot and go to the screen. Uh, and because this is going to automatically reboot your device into TLRP. So you, if you want to, uh, you know, uh, change something or you want to back up, then that's the time you get. The device auto rebooted as it said, and it has wiped in all my data. So yeah, if you have any important data, you have to back up your device first. Let's, yeah, this brightness is okay. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, this is fine. So first of all, uh, you need to install repartitioner. That's done. Now the next step is again choosing the SD card and getting the cleaner to be flashed after the repartitioner. So you have to flash this and it is rebooting back to recovery. In just five seconds that's so quick now the cleaner has also been flashed and tlrp has rebooted back again again we are gonna yeah adjust the brightness that's fine okay now the thing is when i installed it for the first time like this is the third time installing uh changing out of my options to see what changes and all that but this is the third time installing and i'm not getting uh the errors from the second time obviously you get it for the first time now the thing is the error is about data and cache partition. So first of all you have to do is go to cache partition, change file system ext4 and change that will be successful. Then go into data. You need to repair uh, resize uh, sorry uh, that option change file system f2fs. You need to use f2fs and it's better uh, if using one year roms or the gsi based rom. Now after doing that your errors will be wiped out and then you have to wipe out your partitions these are the partitions you need to wipe out click yes done now everything will be fine with your partitions now you have to just install the zip which is in your otg or sd card i'm using sd card so this is the ilm rom version 7 and now this is going to open the aroma installer which gives us options to customize the installation of the rom as you can see welcome to the installation wizard as it says now the next step is to just proceed next you can see your device is compatible it is galaxy s7 now if it is not compatible if you're installing it on any other device it will say that it is not compatible getting next and you can see you can read all this if you want yeah okay so now this is the first option you can choose choose mods to apply to the rom so sound if you want mono you can use mono or if you want to hear piece as a secondary speaker you can use stereo too so these mods are available I'm going to choose stereo because that's the the upper part and then we have a, a, a launcher animations so you can choose lowest fast low plus and flagship so fast is like very uh, a very good one which you can use i'm going to choose flagship to get all the animations because this is the max theme but for the lowest animations and fast performance you can choose according to your users you can read that 
Now for Samsung apps, I'm going to choose all the apps. You can customize this. I'm using because I want to show you all the maximum output of this Samsung DeX, Good Lock, Patch, and you have Calendar. And Google Apps, you can choose to include or you can also choose to uh, skip. So I'm just going to go with Google. You can also choose YouTube or Google Chrome. Then if you want any kernel manager, because I'm not going to use that, you can use that. I install HK Tweaks and it installed the app. You have to use root to obviously change stuff within the kernel manager. Then you have choose UI customizations. So you have ultrasonic animation of fingerprint. We don't have a fingerprint animation here. But yes, you can, uh, like we don't have a finger, on screen fingerprint, but you can get that animation. We have secure folders. So I'm going to press both. Then you have live blur and static blur. I'm going to choose live blur options here. Then you have a preferred wallpaper bundle. And I'm going to choose uh, the S22 wallpapers. You will have S21, 20, S10, Note 7, Note FE, S7H. And that is it. And you have uh, your uh, change log of version 7. You can see the bugs here. Uh, you have some notes if you want. And yes, the full change log is here. Which I'm going to show you guys uh, with the review video. And yep, it has started the installation of the ROM. So this is kind of uh, a newer update to the version 7 that we are getting Aroma installer. You can choose your options. And this is nice because people are being specific about installing apps and other stuff. So you can choose it accordingly your preference. And guys, as you can see, the installation is successful. You can see script succeeded result was 1.00. So exit done. And that's it. You need to reboot system. And within a minute or two, you will get the One UI 4.1 uh, setup screen. And you can set up and easily set up your device without any issues. There is no uh, issues regarding the setup wizard. So you can easily set this up and that was it for the installation video of your EROM One UI 4.1, which is the S10 Plus Sport based on Android 12. And I hope you guys liked the installation video. If you did, press the like button. If not, the dislike button. Obviously, there's nothing to dislike about the installation, but still. And you can subscribe for more videos. As you can see, the boot animation has started with the blue LED glowing out. So that was it. The review video is going to come out soon, like within. 12 to 15 hours of this one so yeah that's it bye bye take care guys see you with another video of the galaxy s7 note 7 s7 h note fe and bye bye guys take care see you soon